Hello everyone. In this video I will show you guys the node warn and error methods as well as the node status. Those methods are very useful in debugging your function and showing you what is happening in the node. Let's start with warn and error. Since those are function node methods, we need a function node to implement them. To display a warning from our function node in the debug tab, we simply call the warn method of our node and give it a text. To test it, we just use an inject node. As you see, we get a message in our debug window. Since it is a warning, it has yellow highlighting. If it is an error, it has red highlighting. To call an error, you just exchange warn with error. You can use those methods from anywhere in your function node. As a quick tip, the warn method is very handy when trying to find a problem in your code. In the next video we will learn how to catch an error from a function using the catch node, just as we did in last week's video with the TCP node. Let's use the status method to show the status of our function. First, let's try it out without any logic around it. The status method takes a JSON object as an argument. Within this object we need to define fill, shape and text. You can check out the link in the description below to read more about those properties. Now let's add some logic to show a different status depending on the msg.topic value. As with the other methods, you can also use the status from anywhere within your function node. The last feature to implement is clearing the status. We can do that by setting the argument of the method to an empty JSON object. That's it for this week's video, I hope you enjoyed it and you could learn something.